Escape 4, could it really be happening? It looks that way. And what about the open world sports action genre? Will we see it make a comeback? Well, it seems like that could also be happening. Hello there, my fellow open world gamers. How's it going? It's Robbie with Open World Games. And get stoked because we're starting out with some Skate 4 news. I never thought I would be talking about Skate 4 uh, this soon. So according to an Australian retailer, we'll be receiving Skate for August 23rd, 2016. Now, remember, none of this, of course, has been confirmed by EA. This is all still rumors, uh, but this was posted to Reddit. There's a finding by one of the posters out there. It looks pretty legit. At least I'm crossing my fingers it is. But, you know, fans have been demanding Skate 4 intensely, especially recently. If you drop by EA's Instagram account, all you see are posts spamming Skate 4. It's a revolution over there. And people are really demanding the return of Skate. Now, the Skate franchise is one of the most unique open-world sports franchises out there. It wasn't afraid to take chances in the gaming industry and offered something completely different and challenging compared to most other games. And the open worlds were absolutely fantastic. You just wanted to roam them and get lost in them. And, of course, Skate 3 came along and even allowed players to roam the area with their skater buddies, tackling spots, challenges, and also building brands and skate parks together. Talk about a chill time indeed. And I think we'd all agree that we'd love to see this franchise running on the Frostbite engine. This is EA's go-to engine right now. Right now, EA's adapting all of their games to the Frostbite engine Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Battlefront, Battlefield, Need for Speed, all of them. In fact, the Battlefield franchise's stellar animations are thanks to collaboration with the FIFA team. That is a really cool fact. And you know, I'd love to see these fluid animations make their way into Skate 4 because their animations are freaking amazing. But that's not all EA is up to on the open world sports front. They are thinking about it a lot. Criterion right now is silently working on a GoPro-inspired action sports title embodying the thrill of first-person stunts and craziness in what appears to be an open world. Now, this game looks like it'll be virtual reality ready, and it's likely going to be one of the Oculus Rift's biggest games when the time comes. At least that is my speculation, of course, but the way it's being built, it looks like they're thinking about the Oculus Rift with this one, but I'm hoping it plays well on consoles because it is a uh, first Person. This is described as a first-person action sports game, first and foremost. But it looks like this one is going to be about working together to create massive group stunts as opposed to individual stunts and share them to YouTube and social media. It's an interesting idea, definitely considering that a lot of the crazy stunts that you see out there are from that first-person GoPro camera, and they do go viral. It seems like that's sort of the idea. They want to build a community that's based off of creating these crazy group stunts, and that's pretty exciting. Well, you know, we just hope that EA is careful about what games they make, first person and for VR. This one, of course, is very appropriate, and it looks so cool. But, you know, not all games need to be VR, of course. And that leads me to SSX. Now, this one is a total mystery, but still remains one of my all-time favorite franchises Ever. Now it combines fantastic controls, graphics, and one of my favorite bits, amazing music. My playlist is full of so many songs from SSX3, it is downright crazy. I want to see this franchise return in a big way to the Xbox One and PS4, and I think you guys would of course agree. So there you have it, let's hope that Skate 4 is actually happening, and this is just the beginning of an open world sports revolution. Who wants this, by the way? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more updates about Skate 4 and all things open world games, be sure to uh, like this video, subscribe for more, because I'm going to keep you guys up to date, definitely. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will hopefully see you soon enough in Skate 4.